to talk about the resurgence of polio cases. We're now joined by Malik Ayub Sumbar. He is the producer of a documentary on polio in Pakistan. Uh, Malik, uh, so the most recent knowledge, there are only three countries in this world who are still uh, under the threat of polio. That is Pakistan, Afghanistan, and the other one in Africa, Nigeria. Nigeria. Why the sudden emergence of cases of polio in the Philippines and Malaysia? I think it puts a very serious question mark about the uh, a huge funding of the polio that is used into the immunization and the vaccination. And because there is a different uh, groups who have different opinions about the vaccines. So a recent outbreak that was happening to some uh, Western African countries, that was actually the self, uh, self um, vaccine derived polios that attack into uh, these uh, a lot of cases. And the other one is the wild polio cases that's mostly reported into the Pakistan mm. and Afghanistan. So this year, 91 polio cases reported in Pakistan and 22 polio cases that's reported into Afghanistan. Mm. But then uh, the outbreak that started from the Western African countries, that was nine polio cases reported. Then it's come to Philippines, the outbreak, and then we see the Malaysia. So recently, uh, and the health minister of the Malaysia, he was yesterday asking to the media and some other people that don't self-assume about this, that where this virus came from. And uh, uh, WHO and the UNICEF, I think they agreed that this virus traveled from Philippines to Malaysia. Do you think those cases can raise the alarm and people can come to understand how important to vaccinate? Of course, it is because polio is something that has faced uh, numerous threats because there is a lot of misconception in the societies and the people are against the immunization campaigns because of their various myths and various propaganda that this vaccine is not uh, is halal according to the Islam and this and then there are several decrees on this. So this is, I think, I think a very serious setback to the polio campaigns because that it's alarms well again after three decades in Malaysia. So, so I think that the countries who have like the dozens of cases, so mm -hmm. it's mean that they have to go a very long way uh, towards the polio eradication. So there are failures about these healthcare policies in those countries. Do you think it is a threat of spreading this to more places? Exactly, in exactly. Asia? Because I think that the immunization ratio that is dropped from 95% to 80% in Malaysia. So I think that it is a very, uh, there is a need of very serious efforts to have a polio immunization uh, for the eradication of the polio-free world. All right. Thank you so much, Malik. Thank you.